Hey YouTube, it's Mimi Zavay and welcome to my channel. As y'all can see by the title, I'm going to be giving y'all a TMI girl talk. Period. Okay, so I went on my Instagram and I told like girls to send me like TMI girl talk questions. And I got the questions right here. Um, so I'm going to be reading out the questions and just giving y'all the honest to me, me truth. <laughs> The honest to God truth. I'm going to just be giving y'all, basically it's like advice, but I'm just going off the questions that they sent me. And they sent me some juicy stuff, y'all, period. I got my wine right here. I'm about to finish this bottle off, y'all. Um, this is Arbor Mist White Zinfandel. Love. Love, love, love. It's very inexpensive, but it's a nice wine. It gets you nice and, like, tipsy, not too drunk. Um... Let me not go on and on about the wine, but it's a good wine. Obviously, y'all, like I said, I'm finishing it off. So. I only need one glass. I'm a lightweight, for sure. Um, But yeah, y'all, this wine is really sweet. Like, it's really good. I'm not going to go on and on about it, y'all. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so. Let me get the questions, y'all. The questions is on my computer. Okay, so the first question was, why do boys cheat? <laughs> why, why even ask me that, y'all? Why even ask me that? Am I a boy? Am I a boy? No, I'm not. I'm a woman. Nah. <laughs> no, but honestly, y'all, like, I feel like boys cheat for a lot of different reasons. Reasons. Um, I feel like the the main thing to remember is that somebody who cheats is cheating because of something that's going on inside of them, like not because of something that their partner did. Because even if you do something wrong, cheating is not the answer to like miscommunication with your partner or like issues with your partner. Like that's not the answer. And if you go to that, if that's what you resort to, something is going on in here. There's some insecurity in here. So always remember that if somebody cheats on you it is never your fault like even if you did something wrong take responsibility for what you do wrong in a relationship but don't take responsibility for them cheating i hope that makes sense but anyway on to question number two question number two is what's my favorite position <laughs> okay my favorite position is definitely missionary for sure I know a lot of you like, oh, I like doggy style, I like doggy style. I like doggy style, but I really love missionary because first of all, it's more like passionate and romantic. And also y'all like, okay, so I like missionary with like your legs up on their chest. Like, I don't know if you know, you know, but you put your legs up on their chest and it's missionary. And the reason why I like it so much y'all is because when they, when we doing it, like they can fuck your toes. I hope nobody I know watch this. Get out. If you watching this, get out. If you if you know you're not supposed to be watching this, ma, <laughs> anybody, get up out of here. But yeah, like I love the fact that like you can put your legs up on their chest and like they can fuck your toes, like they can lean over like and fuck your toes, y'all. I don't know. It's something about that toe sucking bag. Uh, just yeah. Definitely something that I'm into. <laughs> Just try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it till you try it. But yeah, my favorite position is missionary. The next question is how to get a guy to like you. Um, I'm not too crazy about this question because honestly, y'all, like I'm not interested in getting a guy to like me. Like I feel like nobody no woman or no girl should be ever be trying to get a guy to like them because it's not your job to get nobody to like you it's your job to be yourself and then let the people who like you like you just off of that like you know what i mean like don't try to get somebody like you just be yourself and the guys who get it get it and the guys who don't don't <laughs> period like no but for real though like you just gotta be yourself let a motherfucker come to you as you are 
and they're gonna like you for you period you don't need to be trying to figure out how to get somebody to like you and don't get me wrong like i'm not talking at y'all because when i was a teenager bruh i used to be for sure like for sure trying to figure out how to get a guy to like you i remember looking that shit up on youtube y'all but now that i know my word and i'm a grown-ass woman no that's a no i would never try to figure out how to get a guy to like me because baby you gonna you're going to flock to me just because i'm me period <laughs> and that's not even on some cocky shit that's just on some i know my word i know that i don't have to chase a man period so i want y'all to feel the same way be yourself don't chase nobody no don't chase no man specifically because I don't care what y'all say. I mean, it all depends. Because if you the type of person that you want to chase a man and the man wants you to chase him, that's y'all business. But for me, I'm not chasing no man. I'm more of a traditional woman. And a motherfucker got to chase me. Period. <laughs> but anyway, on to the next question. Should a coochie smell like water? Um, I feel like your everybody has like a different smell. Um... And then it's also like it also depends on like the time of the month because if it's like you on your period of course like of course you're not gonna smell like water you're gonna smell like period blood like come on but <laughs> if like if you just got out the shower i would say you should smell you shouldn't be smelling like nothing like but everybody like i said everybody's different they all everybody has their own smell like for me personally when I'm clean, like when I'm just getting out the shower, I don't, like, I would say that I smell like water. It's like a very, I don't know how to explain the smell, but it's not like a musky smell. But some people have like a musky smell, like, you know, it's all about your smell. You got to get to know your smell and you got to get to know your body and realize like, okay, this is my natural smell. Like for me, I know my natural, my natural smell from anywhere, like any other smell and I know something is off because I know my natural smell. Like, that makes sense? Oh, yeah. But anyway, on to the next question. How many bodies is too many bodies? Chow, chow, chow. Um, I feel like that's not nobody's place to be saying, oh, how many bodies is too many bodies? Like, the main motherfuckers will be sitting up here like talking about how many bodies you got too many bodies, shit like that. Be the main motherfuckers who be having hella bodies, y'all. Like, I just would say I would focus more on my character and the kind of person that I am more so than I would focus on how many bodies I have had. I mean, and I would also take it far and take it further and say just make sure you're respecting yourself. And what respecting yourself is your own morals and values. Like for me, I like to keep my little number down. Like you know, <laughs> I have you know what I'm saying I haven't been with nobody except for my baby dad in the last seven years so but like even before that i like to keep my number down all that sleeping around and shit like that was never a thing for me but like i said that's for everybody to each his own like if you feel like you can go sleep with a guy and not feel no less about yourself and you can feel good and you can you know what i'm saying like that's up to you but for me personally i'm not really even attracted to nobody if like sexually if i'm not attracted to you emotionally already if that makes sense so but like I said, like, nobody has the right to tell you, oh, judge you or tell you, like, oh, you have too many bodies and stuff like that. Because it'd be the main motherfuckers who be running their mouth, who be having a hundred bodies. Ludurk. <clears throat> Ludurk. I love Ludurk, by the way. But, like, boy, you have hell bodies. You got hell kids. And you telling people about bodies. But that's, you know, that's the thing for men. Like, men always be trying to have these double standards on women like oh we could do this but y'all can't do this like you know i say fuck them whatever you want to do with your body is your fucking business don't worry about nobody talking about how many bodies you got because it's none of their fucking business period on to the next question when should i lose my virginity um i uh, like this question because whoever's ask, asking this question girl look at you still a virgin do your thing um whenever you ready like don't sit here and let nobody pressure you into having sex don't let nobody don't let your friends telling you like oh sex is so good it feel like this it feel like that don't let that make you rush you into having sex before you ready because 
you will regret it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't let it be something that you look back on and regret. Let it be something that you could look back on and be like, oh, like, that was a special time. Like, I had a very, like, it was very special. It was with a special person. Like, that'll be a, like, a memory that you can continue to remember for the rest of your life. Like, you know, don't let it be some shit like, I was peer pressured and da 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 Like, don't let it be that, you know? Let it be something special. So, like I said, whenever you're ready, not when other people is like trying to push it on you, not when a poop butt ass nigga is trying to sit there and tell you, oh, having a temper tantrum and acting a motherfucking fool because you tell him, him you don't want to have sex. Like, if a motherfucker act like that, cut their ass off, period. Because you have gold down there and you need to act like it, period. Who is my celebrity crush? Okay, 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 okay. So, if you watching this video and you know me, you already know who the fuck my celebrity crush is. You're already thinking it in your head because you know. <laughs> okay, so I have two celebrity crushes. So, my first top of the line celebrity crush, Tupac. Baby, baby, you can't tell me a motherfucking thing about Mr. Tupac Shakur, okay? That is my man. That's going to be my man to the day that I fucking go. I'm going to be my man, my man, my man in him to the day that I go. And bitch, if you like him too, don't even open your mouth and say nothing because, like, I be, will be ready to fight. I will be ready to fight. Like, I don't want to hear it. That's my man. He belongs to me. <laughs> I hate that he's famous as fuck and everybody loves him because that's literally my man. Like, I don't, like, I don't want to hear it. Motherfucker can't tell me nothing. Like I said, I'm a my man, my man, my man, my man him to the day that I go. Or until the day my husband don't like it or something. <laughs> and even then, I'll be in my head like, my man, my man, my man, period. Because, like, I love him. Y'all, I'm already a little bit tipsy. Like, I'm kind of not even able to, like, like, my eyes kind of, like. <laughs> I told y'all I'm a lightweight. I'm a lightweight. But anyway, yeah, so, period. Tupac, top of the line. Top of the motherfucking top tier. But anyway. My second celebrity crush is Polo G. Okay, that's my man. But he been kind of irritating me lately. Like, I'm actually mad at him right now because, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, he, he, he called himself being in a relationship, whatever the fuck. Like, and I'm not, like, really feeling it. So, like, I'm going to have to have a talk with him. But, yeah, I guess we together or whatever. <laughs> we not together, but... I guess that's my crush or whatever. Okay, next question. What is my love language? Um, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I don't know y'all. All of them. Period. All of them. No, not all of them though. I do kind of feel like all of them. I'm not going to lie because... I be thinking about it sometimes. I be like, what is my love language? But I think everybody's love language is all of them. But like, I feel like you have like two main love languages. And I have to say, my two main love languages is words of affirmation and acts of service. For sure. Like, the other shit don't really matter to me. Like, the gifts and stuff. Like, I could, I like gifts, but like, I could go without them. You know, you don't have to buy me nothing. I mean, I like to be all stuff, but I'm saying, like, as of now, words of affirmation and acts of service, for sure. Okay. Next question is how to stay confident. Um, I think this is a really good question just because, like, I feel like as a woman or, like, girls and women around the world struggle so bad with our confidence because we have so many, like the pigments of like how we should look or how we should be and like it gets it's hard because like if you not like that then if you're not what they if, if you're not what they say you should be like it's hard to feel confident with yourself but one thing that i've learned and i think all of the women who are confident who come off as confident can speak you know i can speak for all of them when i say that Sometimes you just really have to fake it till you make it. Like, first of all, you need to start accepting yourself. You need to stop trying to look for validation outside of yourself. I have a whole video on this. Go watch the video. Go watch the video, period. <laughs> but um, 
stop trying to look for validation stop going out and hoping that somebody tell a guy comes up to you because if a guy don't come up to you that's gonna destroy your whole night like you know what i'm saying that's gonna destroy your whole like confidence that's why it's called self-confidence it's not called guy on the street confidence like you know so like stop looking for validation be happy with who you are and what you are accept yourself and fake it till you make it sometimes like i'm gonna give y'all a little story time a little short little story time so a few weeks ago i went to chipotle and when i walked into chipotle y'all it was so many men in there y'all and they was just as soon as i walked in it was like they was glued their eyes was glued on me like and i instantly could feel myself like sh like trying like shrink trying to shrink down like so they won't see me like they obviously see me but i like felt myself trying to shrink down because like I feel like they're looking at me because I'm ugly they're looking at me because I I'm not looking that good like because I wasn't looking that good I was looking like okay like I was just looking normal you know but I caught it and when I caught it I stopped the shit dead in its tracks flipped the motherfucking script and I told myself like yeah they looking at you because <laughs> body banging they looking at you because <laughs> lips juicy they look at you because huh, face pretty. They look at you because huh, skin is gorgeous. Huh. They look at you because you look good, girl. So once I told myself that, y'all, fuck, I walked in that bitch. I walked, walked through that bitch like I owned the motherfucker, okay? Like I said, fake it till you make it. And would you believe that one of them gave me a compliment? Like, so they was really looking at me because of all the good things that I said. <laughs> Or did the confidence make them make him compliment me? You never know. But one thing I can say is it's never a bad thing to be confident, period. So like I said, fake it till you make it and work on your inner self. Stop looking for validation outside of yourself. This is the last question, y'all. How to know if a friend is a real friend or a snake? Um, I think there's a lot of a lot of signs and symptoms <laughs> of the snake bitch. No, I'm just kidding. No, but for real, I think there's a lot of signs and stuff, but I would have to say, like, personally, the biggest sign of all is the voice that's in here. Like, your intuition is going to tell you who's for you and who's not. And a lot of things, a lot of things that we just ignore is why we end up in situations that we end up in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me nowadays, like, now that I know, like, my intuition is strong and I know what I'm doing, like, I know how to move, I know how to listen to her, like, I be good. Like, I don't really deal with all that snake shit no more. Like, you know, um, like, when I first meet somebody, y'all, I always say a prayer. Like, if this person is, is going to be, like, if I meet somebody and I like them and there's a potential for us to have, like, a good friendship a long lasting friendship i always say a prayer if this person is going to be a good if this person is not going to be a good friend to me if they're not going to love me and be loyal to me and just love me for who i am genuinely don't even let the friendship take off at all like and i cannot tell you how many times i've said that prayer and then i haven't heard from the person or like we haven't talked or anything like because i asked for that and i'm so blessed and grateful that that's been the case because I don't need nobody snaking me and playing games with me. I don't have time for shit like that. So, like I said, keep your eyes open and keep your ears open to the inner voice because I feel like y'all be ignoring that shit and that's why we, a lot of us, be ending up in those fucked up positions. So, ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna tell you more about a person than your intuition. Words of the wise, words of the wise, okay? But anyway, y'all, that is the last question. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely be seeing y'all in my next video. Good night.